Hello guys, come on in. Deb here with Art and Grace. Let me get this pulled up so I can see your comments. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Happy Friday. Friday is one of my favorite days, especially in June. Doing our little series for, I'm calling it Kids Camp. It's just a kid-friendly painting that I'm going to do every Friday in June. We've done two. And this is our third. We've got the Happy Dolphin. I think you can see a little bit of it in the screen. And we've got our Happy Giraffe we did last week. Today we're doing a Happy Tree Frog. Hi, Patty. Hi, Sydney. Glad y'all are here. Come on in. Happy to see you guys and happy to be here today. I feel like my poor Art and Grace VIPs have just seen me way too much this week. <laughs> We were live last night. We had our paint party, and I don't even see my painting, but yep, we did some magnolias last night, had a lot of fun with that, and um, I've done a lot of things this week, so I'm afraid everybody's going to be tired of me, but this is my last one until Sunday. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Kim. Hi, Sheila and Joanne. Cynthia, glad y'all are coming in. Hi, Marion. Brenda says, VIP from California. Hi, Sandra. I hope I've said hi. Never too much of her dip. I don't know about that. I do not know about that. Okay, is anybody painting along? Thank you, Patty. I love being on and seeing you guys. So, you know, I never get enough, but I just am afraid y'all will. So, I like all of my paintings to kind of go together, so you probably saw the little picture of the frog, but it's a lot of the same bright, happy colors. Of course, you can change it up however you want to. You don't have to have all the colors that I have. You can use anything that you use or have on hand. You can even use markers or matte pencils or whatever. Oh, I'm glad y'all are here. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Hi, Monica, Texas Breeze. Hi, Tarita. How are you today? You made it on time, Carol. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting my brush wet. I'm using a large flat brush. This is probably a one inch um, brush, and I'm going to use my Deco Art Bahama Blue so that it kind of goes with all the other ones I've done. And I'm going to put some white with it because I do lighten it up a little bit for my sky. And we're gonna do, um, you know, just our background with this color. So just load that on your brush and go side to side from one side all the way to the other. We're gonna do this most of the way down. We'll leave the bottom part green to represent grass. If you guys have not had time to get the tracer for this, you can go to my website, artgracepaint.com, and get the free tracer. Um, I also, I did not send out an email this week with the Alzheimer's event. It just, everything was too crazy, and I was trying to get things shipped out. But um, every Monday, I send out an email, and sometimes I put freebies or tracers or a little, you know, something in there. And then I also give away... A little happy mail each Monday so if you just for opening and, and receiving my emails you might win a little happy mail so I try to reward you guys because I know we don't need more emails in our inbox I only send one a week but if you sign up for it then you might get something back in return you never know hello Maria hi Beth hi Cindy Leveda, Lisa, I'm sorry I've probably missed somebody that came in, but I'll go back. I love seeing who was here and saying hi to you guys. So, we all want our pages to grow, but not so so much that we can't go back and talk to you guys cuz I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me and I think this is such a fun little series. Many of you don't want to paint it probably, but you're gonna give it to your kids or grandkids. And some of you are painting it, and I love seeing it. So you can always put anything you paint or create into my 
art and craft showcase group. It's just a place to showcase what we're doing. And so feel free to pop those paintings or whatever into that group and let us see. Of course, my the ladies that are in my VIP group, we put them in there and show each other. And it's always fun to see how we change it up, how everybody changes it up and makes it their own. You can, you know, of course, change colors, add things. I thought on this one, it'd be super cute to add a little fly with a little frog tongue, you know. Um, so, you know, some people will get really creative and think of things to add to it or change it. I do bring all my paintings over to the side. If you're, oh, oh, catastrophe. If you're not going to frame it, then I think it looks really cute to have paint on the side of it, but that's just optional, personal preference. Okay, let's stand us back up. Uh, let's see. Oh, Maria, thank you for the stars. Oh, Maria, I'm doing good. Yes, I ha I was sick pretty much most of May. It was um, really not wanting to go away, and that was hard, but it's gone. All good. Took me a long time to get my stamina back. You know how it is at this age. It just doesn't, you don't bounce back usually as quick. Not like when we're 20 anyway. Okay, so we've got our background down. I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'll need another coat. I'm just taking a look. Once it dries, you can tell better. But I am going to add a few clouds here in a minute. So let's see if we can get that centered better. Hi, Brookie. Sandra, thank you. I'm glad you like the VIP group. That makes me happy. So happy. I want to open it up. I just haven't had the time to do all the, you know, kind of marketing stuff you have to do, but I really do want to give people a chance to get in there that want to. I've had some people ask me about it and I just say, get on the wait list, but we do need to open it up and, um, and do that soon. I'm going to put a base coat of this green. I am going to put a little bit of white out. So base coat green with just a little white and get that down here for our ground cover. You know, when when kids are painting, you want to keep it as easy as possible and um, so they don't get frustrated. So simple, you know, simple shapes, simple, um, you know, don't make things too complicated. And then as they progress, they're going to want to do more and add more details. But we're just going to cover this with green first. And I will say, um, sometimes it's easier. And I'll show you. Let me just wait and I'll show you what I mean. Because I started to say something, but it'll be easier if I show you while so I'll wait till I get that tracer out and show you what I was going to say. I am bringing this all on the sides. Paint it messy. That's okay. You can smooth it back out. Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? It's rainy here in Texas today. I've been enjoying hearing the thunder and my poor dog gets so scared. As soon as there's any thunder whatsoever, she hightails it to one of us. Hi, Linda Sue. Hi, Sonia. Hello, Elizabeth. Send Deb a message. Yes, whatever it is, you send me a message. I will get it. We did, oh, we had a fun one yesterday. I don't know if you guys were with me when we did our blue, reminds me of blue china. 
we did a, a sun, basically a sunflower with blue is what I call it or what I say in my head when I look at it. Um, but it it's turned out so pretty. I put a reel in there today for you guys to see. Okay, so we've got our base of green, our sky. Um, oh, I don't even think I have it in here. I was going to show y'all, but nope, it's in the other room because I went and took a video of it outside. But you can see that on my page. It turned out so pretty. Pool, barbecue and pool party. Oh, how fun. Oh, wow. That sounds so fun. I would give anything to have a pool. You really need a pool in Texas. Every house should just come with one. Got a little something on that painting, so let me cover that. Okay, so now we've got our flat base of grass. I'm going to bring it up on the sides. So let me grab some more green. This time I'm going to put a little bit of our citron green out. It's got a lot of yellow in it. Now you can just use yellow. Um, you know, you can just have your primary colors of paint and kind of mix to get what you want. But I am... Uh, I love deco art paint, so when they come out with new paint, I love to go get it, and then I get hooked on it, and it's just, you know, for me, easier to grab a bottle than to sit and mix and then try to make that color over and over, so I'm going to just put some kind of, you see, just some kind of large grass-like blades here, just using the chisel side of that brush and our log with our frog on it will sit kind of right behind the or right on top of this so grabbing a little bit of that citron green as I go to get some variation in this grass and then we can kind of bring that down and add a little bit into here but we're going to do something else on top so that's good enough. I'm going to dry this and then we'll go to the next step. And I see I'm sloppy. See, I'm very sloppy with my paint. So I'm going to just pick this green up right here with a clean brush. And then I can put my blue back over it. I do this a lot where I just kind of flop around with paint. Grandson's birthday is Sunday. Good. Stores today with 80. Oh, Cynthia, really? Oh, no, that is awful. So, batten down everything, and even then, it's probably still going to fly. Wow, that's awful. We need to pray that that will dissipate before it gets to Oklahoma. Oh, goodness, that's a, that's a really high wind, girl. Okay, I'm going to dry this real quick and look at some comments. Oh, Manny, I'm going to go look at yours. You are a fantastic creator because you do so many different things and your paintings are beautiful. If you guys aren't following Manny, he does so many amazing things with paper. I don't know what you call it. It's not origami. Manny, if there's a word for it, let us know. But anyway, you want to check him out. If I'd say just go follow the page and then you can start seeing some of his creations. I will go look at that. Sandy Lake, Pennsylvania, Butler, uh, Linda Butler is at. Ransom's birthday Sunday is Aww. Hi, Deb Dalton. You could use some rain. Aww. Oh, wow. Y'all do need rain. 91. Listen, I dare y'all to do a Google search for Texas next week. It's it's like outrageous. It's like 110 several days. It's awful. Okay. Now I love this thing. I have to show y'all if you haven't seen me use this. It's got the little scrubber on the bottom of it so you can take your brush and scrub it on there and then wipe it on the sides. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, paint Puck. So it's called Paint Puck. 
they're on Amazon my friend Patty got me this one and I just love it so you can just easily cover over any mistakes on your acrylic painting just go right over them no big very forgiving I've had a lot of fun with these happy little paintings and and many of you are doing them not just kids so keep on doing them they're fun and maybe you want to do them for kids you know maybe make make your own card rather than buying a Hallmark card things like that oh no I have not heard that that is awful it really is crazy how hot it is and how stifling it is and I just feel for anybody that has to work outside offer them water guys you know um, it's really a simple thing that we can do to kind of help people okay I'm gonna take my large round brush it's a number eight I'm gonna get it wet and we're gonna make some clouds just like we did on our giraffe let me show y'all that see those just some easy little whimsical puffy clouds so we're gonna dip into our white let me get this up and then we're gonna offload so I've dipped into the white and then I'm gonna really offload most of it and just back and forth so it's worked it into the brush but taken out a lot and then I'm going to start with I'm trying to think if I want to fix this background real quick now that I'm noticing it's not solid let's just let's just do a quick fix here hold please let's blend that better into each other I didn't take time to blend or make that look kind of like it was a part of the other I just covered over that mistake which made it look choppy so that's okay on whimsical paintings you don't have to make it look perfect or anything by that you know that's kind of silly but I did want to just sort of blend that in a little now I'm gonna start with a line so tap 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 kind of a line so I hope y'all can see that line and then start building up and not perfect just tapping that little cloud on like so so that way you see a little of the blue behind it you see the cloud and just to where you like it you know if it if it looks good to you then you're done this is a whimsical painting doesn't have to be perfect by any means let's do another one that's a lot of white but we'll just tap 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 so I always start with this line. I think these are called cumulus clouds. I was going to research and be sure I'm telling y'all right, but you know, they're just dead clouds. They're just easy, whimsical little clouds. Oh, that's good, Levada. I love that. Yeah, we really, really need to do that because it's not because you know well we're not obligated you know it's not like well this tip culture is out of hand it, you know it's just being a kind human because really it's just too hot for them to be doing what they're doing and in and out of the car you know how it is we go to the grocery store and get winded right so to be out there in it all day every day it's a lot and I, I definitely think that it's good to to have water, Gatorade, anything that you can for them. Probably high protein snacks are helpful too, but the water is what they need right now with this crazy heat and humidity. And it doesn't really cool down, you know, like at night you go out and it's still that hot. Okay, so there's our clouds. They're pretty subtle, but just enough. And I'm going to dry this, and then we'll be ready to do our frog on a log. I named him Freddy. Freddy the frog. Freddy the tree frog. Oh, wow. They don't walk here, but yeah, that's awful. 
Hi, Deb. Had you popped in? Have you tried scrubby to clean brushes? Um, is it like the paint cut? Hi, Sherry. How are you today? If it is, I have. I have one. But I don't know if that's the exact thing you're talking about. Okay, ready for the tracer. This tracer is on my website. You can go and print it out. Um, I'm going to put down some carbon paper. But if you don't have carbon paper, just turn it over. Scribble with your pencil all over the lines. And then when you put it down on your, uh, your design, you can trace off. Once you press down on the lines, that pencil will come off on your canvas. Just going to kind of line it up where I want it and start tracing. Hold it really tight or tape it down. It's really good to tape it down, but you know me, I'm going to go for it. And just take your time. Although it does not have to be perfect. My son had a tree frog when he was little. He had a couple of them, and they're so cool to watch. They're really pretty. Did any of you guys ever let your kids have frogs or anything like that? I mean, we did have lizards. We've had lizards. Of course, my daughter had a cat or several cats, you know, growing up, and we've had of course, always had a dog. Oh, we love dogs. I really like using like one of the pink gel pens oops so I can see where I've been because I've already traced over this one once when I practiced it so it's hard for me to tell what I've done and what I haven't done I'm gonna lift it up and see I'm sure I've missed some things so let's see Missed this whole lead here. Polywogs. What are polywogs? I've never, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Hamsters, guinea pigs, cats, and dogs. Oh yeah, we have some lizards here too. And certain times of the year we get the frogs and they're, it's bad, they're real bad. Which brings the snakes. Because the snakes like the frogs. Okay, so you don't have to do it this way, you can, you know, trace the whole thing and, and all that if you want to. That works too, so however you want to do it works fine. I'm going to get a new little palette so it's clean for y'all to see. Makes it easier. Okay, guys, ready? Let's do our log first. I'm going to take this dark chocolate. It's called Bittersweet Chocolate, so just brown. If you don't have a dark brown, take whatever brown you have and add a little black. I am going to put just a dot of black, not much. Like that. I got a little white. California tadpoles. We used to love trying to wrangle up some tadpoles in the creek by our house. I think I put this on the list. It's just another shade of brown that's got a lot of red in it. Um, it's kind of fun to add that into your log if you want to, but you don't have to have it. I'm going to take that round brush again. This is still my large eight, number eight, and get that clean. 
orchids and plants. You have lots of lizards and frogs. They don't bother me. I like them. You know, I like nature. I like stuff like that. Um, I don't love it when they bring the snakes. When we have all of the frogs and they're like hatching and croaking, you know, that how they do, that brings the snakes and I don't like that. We have a creek at the end of our street, so we do get snakes around. Everybody in the neighborhood loves to show you, you know. Um, I'm gonna grab a little of this and kind of put this up next to the end of that branch just to show the difference and then come along and just fill in this log I did my kind of crooked you can do it however you want to straight or crooked or whatever now I'm gonna go to a smaller brush once I go up around his toes and everything but for the majority I can get a lot of paint on here before I need to do that how many of you have painted any of these kids designs that I've done the last three weeks well two this is the third week and I appreciate you guys. I've had a lot of you um, sprinkle them or tag somebody, which I love because you're tagging people that have kids. And I think that's so cool. Let them see and print the tracer if they want to, things like that. Okay, so that we've got our base coat on our log. We'll do more to it, but I'm gonna go and start painting in between this frog's toes. What are they? Uh, Deb, are you talking about the tracer? I've got a dolphin, which you can kind of see a little bit right here in front of me, and then the giraffe, and now this tree frog, and next week is a unicorn. And all the tracers you can get on my website for free, just artgracepaint.com. This is my little contribution to all the kids and grandkids that are out of school. For the summer, this will give y'all something to do together. Or you can even put on this video and let turn on some music and let them paint while you're baking or whatever you're doing. I'm just using a detail brush to kind of come up in between his little toes. You have to take a little more time to do it this way so that we don't, you know, get brown all over our frog. Let's see, so that's his leg. I don't think I traced all the way. This is his leg. It goes like that and then that's his foot okay just had to be sure I wasn't painting over something I should the only thing that is hard about having pets with kids is when that day comes that's the the hardest it's I mean it's not even just with kids good grief with any of us even today but boy that's hard stuff but it's so fun we even had hermit crabs for a while those were really popular and and um, you know all of those things help your kids learn responsibilities so it's always good to let them take care of things and be responsible and I didn't make my kids pay for their food, but they had to go with me, and we would, you know, buy the food. And okay, there's his belly, there's his arm. So this is all log up in here, yes.
Oh, uh, listen, I started to make kits um, with with wood and everything, but there wasn't a demand for them. But I love putting together kits. I think that it just makes it convenient for you guys, and it's kind of you can even ship it directly to a grandchild, which is fun. I started doing those kits when COVID happened because I used to do the in-person paint parties. That's a belly, that's a leg, okay. And when COVID happened and we could not do in-person paint parties, um, all the moms and ladies that I had met through doing them, you know, were messaging me and saying, and plus I was friends with some on Facebook that were saying, you know, oh my gosh, it's so hard to fill the days. How do teachers do it? Because all of a sudden they were trying to keep their kids occupied and they didn't, you know, they weren't equipped like teachers. So I put some kits online. And when I say kits, it's like the canvas, the paints, the paint brushes, um, you know, palette, stuff like that. And they started buying them and then they would say, do you have anything? My, the, the first one I did for an adult, adult, the lady said, do you have anything for a man? My husband wants to do one. And I was like, sure. So I made a few for him, and then I made one or two for her, and then it grew. And so paint kits kind of became a big thing through COVID. Um, and it served my purpose of kind of helping people relax with art and give them something to do because, you know, everybody was in lockdown. And... So I think a lot of people started doing creative things during that time. So as bad as it was, we all know how bad it was, um, good things did come, just like always. You can always find some silver lining if you look hard enough. And so I like to do art kits still for people that need them or want them. You know, some people can't get out for whatever reason and and don't really know what to get or whatever, so that makes it easy to, to just have it sent to you. Okay, a little more here. So here is where, okay, that's a leg. This is the wood, okay. That's still the stump. There. I know it looks weird because I've got that blade of grass, but I think we've got the log for the most part. Thank you, Joanne, for the stars. Cindy, if you're asking me, uh, 2019, it was, sorry about my mic, December, I mean, uh, August of 2019 is when she passed away. And... Uh, it was shortly after that that I started doing this full time. I'm just adding in, I'm taking that brown, adding in a little bit of this, you know, kind of rust color and just kind of touching down in certain spots to make that log a little more interesting, not just the flat color. So just kind of brush it on. Once that dries, we will add a little more color with a different, a lighter color. Okay. So that let that sit while we go on to the frog. October of 2019, I'm so sorry. It's so hard, even still. It just change, changes us to lose our mamas. And, and I'm grateful that she, mine was a strong believer and she's with Jesus and all that. But yeah, it's still, you know, you miss them. You, that's your mama and you've had them forever. So it's still hard. I'm gonna get out my greens. I've got, um, my lime green, my true green or Kelly green, and this is called tea or green tea. So I'm just putting a variety out for my little frog. 
and I'm going to use a smaller round brush. Let's see, I might want this one. This is a number six. We can do some of the larger parts with the number six. I'm going to take a little bit of that dark green and then a lot of the lime green. So just put them both on your brush at the same time and we'll kind of start going around our outline. So a little bit of the dark green and then mostly the lime green. But this will give us a good kind of line around our frog here. Just coming under his mouth. Okay, this is leg, and that's belly, and I wanted a little bit of sky, so hold on and let me add just a touch of sky right there. So leg right here is where this should remain blue, and on your tracer it's a little more clear than this one. So. Lost your dad, aww. I know, Carrie, I'm so sorry. Some of y'all really, I, I know a lot of you are daddy's girls, and it is so hard to lose your dad. Or mom, you know, it's really, or brother. Anytime we lose our family. So I'm just going into my lime green now. So I've got kind of a line that helps you to see, you know, what part is what, which is his legs, which is his arms, and I'm just going to fill that in. and kind of blend as I go. I wanted his belly light, so I have lime green with just a touch of white, and we're going to give him kind of a lighter belly. If you don't have the lime green, just yellow and green is all you need. Okay, and then let's do, oop, I need more lime. We're going to finish his legs and things. So lime with a little touch of that green is all I need. I do need this little inside part. That's part of his leg, so that needs to be a little darker. I'm going to darken that up with a little green. I want to leave that belly kind of yellow. Just go back and forth. You know, you can add more green, add less green, however you want it to be. Just kind of getting them filled in right now. I'm going to put a little darker green going around his arms, kind of showing where his arms are. Like so. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for his toes. And what I'm going to do is 
the same thing. Uh, I like the this part of the toe to be lime green and then closer up here a little darker green. So I take that lime green and just paint this on leaving the toes blank because those are going to be orange. Y'all with me? Oh, thanks, Brenda. Thank you, Carrie. These have been so fun to do. I hope that you guys are able to use them for something. I think these would even be nice to paint for somebody's bedroom, you know. So if you've got a grandchild or child that might like them, paint them big. Paint them on a 16 by 20 or something. Blow it up. Okay, leg, this is foot. These will need layers. This is our first layer. And then you can kind of go back over as things are starting to dry. And I'm just brushing on some more paint to get it a good coverage. Like so. Okay, let's do some orange. Oh, thanks for the hearts, somebody. Thanks, Bobby. I've got bright orange for my toes and I'm going to try to use this brush and be real careful but if you have a smaller detail brush that works as well but I'm going to fill in the toes make them pretty round there and then kind of brush that orange up into the lime so round toes and then brush it up his little ankle. Do frogs have ankles? I don't know. <laughs> Brush back Letting that brush do the work. You're just making that little circle and then brush a few strokes back up into the ankle area. Ankle. I mean, obviously it's not an ankle, but you know what I'm saying. Down the toes, I guess. You can do these in any color, so if you wanted to match somebody's room, just do it in their colors. Okay, now that will need another coat, but we're going to let that sit and do some of the top of him. I'm going to stay with this smaller round brush. This is a, can't even tell, probably a number four though is my guess. It's worn off of some of here. Um, so let's get some more lime. Um, if anybody has sprinkled this out, I appreciate it so much. I'll go back and thank you because I really do want to get these out there for more people to get to use and if you know somebody that has kids it'd be a good one to put on your page especially with the tracer you know 
it's hard to find tracers that are available for us to use and you know I'm using the lime green and just tapping down into the darker green just to give it some variety, not make it a, a flat, solid color. Okay, this part inside is going to be the inside of his mouth, and then I'm going to do a light green here underneath. It's so quiet. Are y'all there? Let me look. You're there. Okay. Oh, thanks, Joanne. I appreciate it. When I'm not talking, y'all, it's I feel like, oh, they've left. It's the funniest thing. It just gets real quiet in here. <laughs> okay. We'll do black inside here. Now, for his eyes, I think I did lime green on the first one I did. I think I'm going to put a little darker up there just to make it really stand out. So I'm going to use a lot of the dark green here. It's tapped into the lime green, but see how I'm making them a little darker? I think that's kind of cute, so let's do those. So a little more dark this time, and then tap into the lime green. And your round brush just helps you go around the little curves. Okay. Now we can take a look since our frog is drying. And I'm going to go back. And there's that dark green. And I'm going to kind of line a little bit with this. So when I say line, just kind of go around lightly. There's an arm. This is an extra step kids won't need to do, but it just kind of helps define things a little bit. I always say just let the kids have fun and do anything they want to do. If they want a purple and yellow frog, purple and yellow it is. You know, their imagination is so vital. And we lose a lot of that where we're like, no, it should be green. Well, who says, you know, art can be anything. And they know it. We just kind of try to change them, don't we? <laughs> so that's his little leg that goes underneath him. So, okay, now I can kind of clean up with the lime green. That looks way better. What does? I just mixed a little of the lime with just a little of the green, and I'm going to kind of dry brush a little bit onto his arms. Like so. Anywhere you want to put it, you can add some. And we're going to put a line in here for his, um, the line in his leg. So don't worry about that. It's coming. And then let's add a little lime green up in here because we only put one coat, so just that same color that I've used with lime and a little darker green we're going to put on his feet. Like so. 
Okay. Now, around his eyes is going to be red for mine. Now, you can do yours any way you wish. Just a small dot of red is all we need. And let's use, this is a pretty small one. If, you're, if you've got a, a good round brush and can get it into that point, that works great for small spaces too. Or you can go to a detail brush. Is anybody painting with me? And is anybody planning on painting this? Okay. I'm going to put black in his nostrils and mouth. Let's see if I can use this black here. If your black has gotten a little dry on your palette, um, you can always just get your brush a little wetter. So instead of tapping it off as much, you know, just get it a little wetter and then that loosens that paint up. You don't want to use too much water. It'll change the opacity, opacity and make it runny, but that is going to be fine what we just did and then we'll be able to get this in this small space and then I'm going to run it through here A detail brush works good for that spot too. You're going to paint it later? Awesome. Maybe your son will enjoy doing that with you. Sydney posted a picture of his dolphin and I just loved it. Love seeing your kids do things. Kids and grandkids. I'm going to put black on the inside of that eye. my dog may be fixing to bark because I think I heard the male person. Okay, take a look. See what you think. I'm going to go to a detail brush now to do a little bit of lines. Do you like it, Lori? And I'm going to take that kind of liquidy black that I have and get that on my liner brush and put in a few lines to give him some distinction. So first thing I'm going to do is come across and, you know, kind of give him lines around everything like so. Don't overthink it. Just kind of quickly is fine. Yep, she knocked on our door. I had packages for her to pick up. And I knew that that dog was going to do that. She is super protective. Too, too much. Too protective. Now, for kids, give them a marker, please. It's so much easier for them to use a marker uh, and when I say marker like a paint pen or a paint marker or a marker is okay um, 
you know, just something that they won't have trouble with like a small liner brush. A micron pen works fantastic for lining things or you can just literally use a thin sharpie or something. Okay, let's keep going. Now here's where his leg goes like that and like that. Might have done that one a little high, but anyway, you get the idea where it has that bend. I need to put more orange on his toes. I'll do that. And then for this log, you can, while you've got your brush in the black, take some and just throw it into that log. Make some lines. Or if you are using a marker, give that a little curve. Like so. He's so cute. Thank you, Sydney. Thanks, Brenda. Painting us at all. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad y'all like it. We're not done. We got a little more to do. He's going to be even cuter when we're done. Okay, I'm going to take that small round brush again, and we're going to do a little highlighting on his face area. So just, I'm grabbing that lime green by itself, and we're going to just give it a little highlight right here and right here. These are the things that, you know, um, will add a lot to your paintings is doing some highlight work, some shading, give him a little highlight on the top of his, you know, head or nose, whatever you want to call that area. We can kind of highlight anywhere, so like right above here. And a little bit down the arms. But this is what I always say about acrylic painting is layer it up, you know. So we've done probably two layers because we did our base layer, then we went back over it. And now we're putting some just plain light green on him and it just continues to add to his little character, don't you think? This kind of makes it look even better, having little highlights here and there. So on his legs, a little highlight, down his arm, into his hand, like so. And then I'm going to take a little white with that lime green, lighten it up even more. And so now we've got that shade. And I'm going to take my brush back and forth to get it into a really nice pointed bristles. And then I can put a little line, like a little line here, a little line up here, like so. I'm going to do one right above his mouth. Now you see that starts adding even more. You can do right above here tops of the legs okay thank you Deb I appreciate the stars thank you Dolly how are you today good to see ya oh wait I saw somebody say Fred the Frog <laughs> Fred the Frog Okay, now I'm going to go back to my little liner brush and grab some black. I probably need a little more black. You can see my piles. I always put too much. I either put way too much or way too little and have to keep opening my bottle and getting more. I don't like to waste paint, so... And then we're going to just touch down. I did leave a lot of water on my brush to make it, you know, so we can use that. This, having it liquidy will help you make your lines 
longer. They can just go and go and go and go, you know. So you don't want to add too much water and then test it out and be sure there's no water on your ferrule. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but wipe off any water that's there so it doesn't drip onto your painting. And then we can go put a few little, like an eyebrow kind of thing. I don't know what, I'm not, it's not really an eyebrow, but just a line right there. It's little details here and there. Um, bend on his arm. So like, I think I have it here and maybe kind of here, like a little bend. We have those, and then that's really it for for the black. Just going to kind of give it a rough outline. Like so. I'm going to take that round brush again with some brown and I am using that chocolate brown with a little bit of white and we're going to add onto the log a little bit. So not much, just a dot. These are some of the fun little details that kind of help a painting look more interesting. So I'm mixing that brown with the white to get a light brown and I'm going to do the same thing where I get my brush you know, good and flat by going back and forth on it. Or you can use the detail brush. And then we're going to just kind of put in some lines. Highlights on that log with our light brown. Anywhere you want it. But of course, across the top is always good. So just like that. And you can add more in certain places. I like to. I add, you know, batches of of that different places like so we've got this on our palette we might as well use it I'm going to put some of that into here and kind of blend it together it calms it down so it's not so so rust color and then we'll put a little bit of that here and there just adding interest to our log now I say we add a little bit of fun to his legs with some blue. So I got, oh, hi, Christina. Good to see you. I got some tropical blue and we're going to put some dots and lines on his leg. I'm going to use that detail brush again. So use the back of it for dots. Now this is where your kids or grandkids can have fun and just do their own thing. Let them decorate it however they want to. This is just an idea. Um, you know, they might want to put glitter all over it or what. In, I know you're like, no glitter, but you know, let them have fun with it. And then I put some lines on him too. So like line, like something like that, just for fun. It just adds something fun. I wanted to add a little orange to the bottom of his toes because we only did that one coat. And orange is like yellow. Usually with yellow, I'll add a little white to make it more opaque. And with orange, I just make sure and do two coats. Austin, you know, I told y'all he had a tree frog when he was little and um, they are very bright. Like the colors are very vibrant and pretty. What do y'all think so far? Do you like him? 
will you paint him? That's what I want to know. Is anybody going to paint him? Or are you going to give him to grandchild or, you know, a child? Or you are more than welcome to, you know, share the tracer with your kids, grandkids, whoever. Okay. Let's add a little bit to his eyes. Oh, good. Barbara loves him. I love frogs, too. I love just about almost everything in nature. There's not a whole lot that I really hate. I mean, I don't like anything poisonous like ugh, snakes and stuff, but I'm going to take a little, oh, I've got a little white. So I've got that red. I'm going to take just a touch of white with some of that red and brighten it up a little. I don't want it to, to become pink, but if you just use a little, it'll kind of become like a rosy color before you go into like a light pink. So, and we're going to brighten up the eyes. So I'm just going right over what I did, but not, not the whole thing, just kind of right over like so quickly. I think we're ready to do the, the grass. So for that, I'm going to go back to my large brush. This is probably three quarters of an inch. I don't think it's an inch, but it's just a large flat brush. Okay. And I'm going to do some chop, some more choppy grass. So let's get that green palette we had. I'm going to put my Kelly green or my Holly green is what it's called. I'm going to grab this tree. Well, there's not much on there. This is green tea that I'm using. Of course, you really only really need one green and you can take your green and break up some over here and over here and add white to one, add black to another, and then you have three different shades of green. But since I love paint and I have lots of it, I'm just going into, so I've got my dark green and I've got my light green on the same brush. And we're just going to start doing some, uh, you know, choppy little grass motions like this with our brush. So your brush is doing the work. I'm not doing anything. I'm just loading it correctly and then it's doing it for you. Just come back in here and do some choppy grass. Yes, yes, you need that second coat for sure. Brighten that up. Just, you see, just putting it down and kind of tapping it around. And I'm just barely moving my wrist, so I might move it just a little bit each time I do it so that it's not, you know, you don't want it like this all in a neat row. You want some going one, you know, just like regular grass is going to go all different ways. So just flip that wrist a little bit. Have a little bit coming from behind. And I like that. You can always, like, I'm real big on if I have paint on my palette, I want to use it. So I'm just going to go into that lime green and add some of that too. Because why not? It's on my palette. I might as well use it. And all it's going to do is add dimension and interest. So might as well. Okay. That's really it. Easy peasy. Let me see. Super, oh, thank you. I'm glad y'all like it. The only other thing that I usually do is on a painting like this, I'll add white highlights too. So let me grab some white. I'll need some clean white. That has all kinds of things in it. 
and take that detail brush and just give him highlights here and there. We did a little bit with the light green, but you can come back on top and even add a little more with the white. And a little dot in the eye. You can even get a little bit of white there. Okay, <laughs> I'd say that's done. What do y'all think? Do you like him? <coughs> Excuse me, if you want to paint him, just go to artgracepaint.com and print out your tracer and, um, and use that to do your own. Also on that website is the tracer for the giraffe and the tracer for the dolphin. So you can get all of these and do all of them if you want to. Or, you know, let, have them ready when the grandkids come over or the kids and let them do them. Or do them for Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, Lori. Uh, does he need more on the eyes to brighten them up? Um, what do y'all think? Do you think he needs more to brighten them up? If anything, I would do orange and some red, so let's do that. It won't hurt, and we'll take a look and see what we think. So just a little bit of orange and red, and we'll see what we think. That's with the orange and, and red. Tell me what you think now. Does that look better? Oh, I'm dropping the mic. Dropping the mic. Thinking they stand out as much as the toes usually. Well, you can definitely do them orange. I mean, there's no problem. You can you can make this any way. Um, another thing that I might do is take a smaller little detail brush and first of all this is bothering me because I got a little green on him I'm gonna put that back in I do like his toes good and bright and I like them kind of rounded there on the ends Maybe you'd like, uh, maybe the, maybe orange eyes is what you might like better. You like him, Lori? Thanks, Sandra. Okay. Well, I'm glad that y'all like him. I hope you'll try him and let me see. So just, if you do try him, put him in the art and craft showcase so that I can see and everybody can see. Or if you're embarrassed or ashamed or not ashamed, but you know, you don't want to show everybody, then send it to me. Just send it in a private message or something. So I will go back and read your comments. He is ready to take a big jump, but see how cute it would be to have a little fly and then the tongue coming out for the fly. So I might add that. Sometimes I'll add things after. So if I do, I'll show you. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great Friday. I am going to be in an event on Sunday evening. 
So be watching for that post. I'll give my time and everything. And I hope to see y'all then. Y'all have a great day. Bye.